Hi, I'm Jamie Hooker. I'm the Texas Forester for the National Wild Turkey Federation. I graduated from SFA with a bachelor's in wildlife management in 2015 and then continued on with my master's degree in forestry and graduated in August 2019. So my job for the National Wild Turkey Federation as a forester is to meet with private landowners and help them manage their property for wildlife in general. It could be turkey, deer, quail, songbirds, pollinators, whatever they want. I write them management plans and then help them enroll in cost share programs through the USDA's NRCS. Okay, so what we're looking for in a hardwood stand and really any stand is a lot of understory vegetation that is not too tall or too short. So turkeys can at full height are about 48 inches, so four feet. And if they are looking for predators or feel that there's danger, they need to be able to see above the vegetation and the understory so that they can detect predators and hide or fly to their roost. Um, but if the vegetation is too low, they're just sitting ducks and the predators can easily get to them. So this spot right here is a really good spot. It's got a lot of mass producing species in the understory. It's got a lot of good sized roost trees. Um, turkeys use trees that are greater than 15 inches in diameter to roost in. And then at the bottom of this white oak right here, if there's a little bit more of this cane, it would be a really good nesting spot because they've got a hard place to lean against and to be feel protected from their predators. And then they've got a lot of understory vegetation as well to protect their nests from the predators looking for their eggs. So some good species to have in the understory as far as food goes for turkey would be Virginia creeper, uh, yopon, beautyberry, a lot of the soft mass producers, so rubus included in there too. Uh, they also eat poison ivy berries. Uh, as in the overstory you want a lot of hard mass producing species like your oaks, your hickories. Um, they eat the seeds of elms and the seeds of maples. Uh, and then for roost trees you want tall, uh, large loblolly uh, oaks and elms. So silviculturally and management wise in this stand you don't really need to do anything. It's got the great vertical structure. It's got good understory, a good midstory, and a good overstory component to it. And this site would be used by turkey in the fall, winter, and in the nesting season. So this stand is a lot different than the one that we looked at before where there was a lot of uh, herbaceous vegetation growing up in the understory. This understory here is pretty much completely shaded out and there's nothing but leaf litter. So there's no available food at turkey height and no available cover for them from predators and no place for their nest. So this kind of stand with a mixed pine hardwood component is pretty similar to what a lot of the landowners that I get calls from have. And my suggestions to them are to do thinning down to a basal area of 70 to 80 and removing some of the trees that are undesirable like sweet gum that have basically no wildlife value at all. Uh, creating patch clear cuts between 5 and 20 acres in irregular shapes too so that way you have a bigger area of forest edge where turkeys can jump into the woods and hide or come out into that clear cut to get the food that they need. Um, also creating gaps in, in the canopy is going to bring in a lot of sunlight to the forest floor and let some herbaceous, herbaceous vegetation grow. And that's what turkey are looking for in the springtime right about now where their poults are hatching. Their diet is 90% uh, is ninety percent insects right now. So they're looking for those kind of plants that will attract insects to them so they can bring their poults out there and feed. Okay, so this stand here has a lot more of a heavier pine component than where we've been down in the bottoms. Uh, and still here, there's not a lot of herbaceous vegetation underneath. There's a little beautyberry plant in front of me here, but other than that, there's not much going on. Um, but even though there's not much vegetation, you still can't clearly see through this stand. So if you're a turkey and you're four foot tall, you're not going to be able to see any predators throughout there coming in because of all of the leaf litter and the pine needles that have fallen onto the mid-story trees. So what we recommend here is, again, thinning down to a basal area of 60 or 70 and then um, coming in and, and burning every two to three years depending on the cover type that you're looking for or the, the soil type that you have. And um, what a fire is going to do is take care of all of this leaf litter on the ground and open up some bare soil so that 
light can hit the soil and grow some new herbaceous vegetation and provide food and cover for turkey.